Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Eddie if you're new here and today you are joining me in my bathroom because I'm going to be giving you guys a natural everyday glam makeup routine. So when I first got started with makeup, I really enjoyed going all out glam, full foundation, baking, eyeshadow, contour, highlights, you know, everything. But lately I've really been into doing more of a natural, like just like enhancement kind of glam. So instead of covering up, more just accentuating. So I have been working on this for about like six months now. So I think I finally perfected what works best for me. So I decided to show you guys what I've been doing. It's super cheap, super affordable and really quick and easy. Before we begin, please make sure to go and check out my podcast, Teenage Fever. It just came out. You can find it on all major platforms, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and all the links are down below. Follow the Instagram, Teenage Fever Official. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first thing I do is put on the sunscreen. I've been using the Sunbum Face Stick for about a year now, and it is my ride or die. It also works as a great primer. Then I put on some chapstick to moisturize my lips and I leave it on for the remainder of the routine so that my lips can absorb it. The next thing I do is put on foundation. Today I'm using the Dream BB Fresh. It's basically a BB cream which means that it adapts to your skin tone and I love it because it's super natural but still retains coverage. Then I apply concealer. Today I'm using the Milani Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer. I love this concealer because it can also work without any foundation under it. It blends in super well with my skin tone and I just apply it under my eyes and on the high points of my face and I also cover up any blemishes. Next, I set everything in place using the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. I really like this powder because it prevents my face from looking too oily and it just makes sure that my base stays in place. I like to bake under my eyes, around my nose, on my jawline, and on my forehead because I found that those are the places where I get most oily. Next I'm using Shade Face from the Morphe X James Charles palette to highlight my eyes. I'm taking a thin small pencil brush and I'm just applying some of this shadow onto the inner corner of my eye and I actually like to bring it up onto my eyelid too. I just feel like it really brightens up my eyes. I also like to highlight my nose by just taking that same brush and drawing a thin line down the bridge of my nose. Next to contour, I'm using a shade Punch Me from the James Charles X Morby palette. And I'm just gonna take a bit of a thicker, more chiseled brush and use it to draw lines along the sides of my nose. I've seen many other brushes used for this step, but I really like this one because it's super chiseled. And then I'll just take my fingers and use them to blend everything out. Next, I'll take a big fluffy brush and I just like to use this to blend everything in and make sure there are no harsh lines. Moving on, I use the same brush to highlight my cheekbones, my forehead, and my chin with Shade Face from the James Charles palette. Then I use an eyelash comb to make sure that my eyelashes are separated and that when I apply mascara, it does not get clumpy. And after, I'll do the same with an eyebrow comb. Next, I use my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I love this mascara and I always make sure to wipe off all of the excess from the wand. This really helps give the lashes a more natural look. take a makeup remover and make sure to wipe off all the foundation for my lips. Next, I apply some CoverGirl Colorlicious Lip Gloss and I actually added some red lipstick to this gloss and I feel like it made it a very pretty shade of pink and it also gives my lips a nice pop of color. Then I finish off the look with a pop of glitter from my Fenty Beauty Fairy Balm. 
Alright guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial. I love doing this makeup look whenever I'm in a rush or I just want something super natural but I still feel a bit more confident. It's super easy. All of the products are super inexpensive and I really hope that you guys learned a bit from this. Again, make sure to go check out my podcast. The new episodes out every Saturday and I'll see you guys in my next video. Illy, mwah.